everyone, Paul I say, and welcome to another bench update. So, it's not Tuesday's turd, as has been named by a few people, uh, which is Tuesday's update, review, and discussion. Uh, it's Friday's update and completed kits, but I'm not going to tell you what that is. Uh, we should be back to Tuesday's pretty soon. Um, once I get the back to the Subaru build and we get that completed, it's kind of put me off kills for a little bit because we're halfway through a build, moved on to a different build. Um, so yeah, we're up to part. What are we doing? Part three now on the Subaru Car Techniques build. Uh, the other part's due on Sunday, which covers 2K clear coats and I discuss other clear coats as well. So get a lot of positive feedback about the series so far, which is good. Uh, so that one's scheduled for release on Sunday, the week after, we've got the running gear one, that's all filmed and ready to go as well, and uh, as soon as my next project's done, I'm back to it, and off we go again, like I said, it's kind of put me off kill for a little bit, where I normally finish, uh, hence why you're getting bench updates a little bit later. Uh, right, so, uh, muscle car build, that's still ongoing, that runs till the end of October, uh, loads of entries so far, which is absolutely superb. I've finished my entry already on my Hemi Cuda, uh, which I showed uh, last time, uh, with a new map bonnet on it, which looks a lot better. Loads of people entering. Uh, people still entering now, and ongoing. Absolutely superb. I may build another. We shall see. Uh, let me see how much time I have left. Because at the beginning of October, next month, uh, we've got the truck build starting. Uh, I'm going to build this one. Absolutely lovely kit. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, and that lasts for three months. I think you're going to need quite a lot of that time to build these. Uh, myself and Sam were talking the other day. Um, for those who don't know Sam, by the way, uh, Sam is a very good friend of mine. I've known him for quite a long time now. We talk every day, or quite a lot through the day, to be honest. This is him. Very flattering picture of him. Um, and yeah, Sam is the guy I buddy built with. <clears throat> kind of help each other out. I keep his mojo going, he keeps mine going, we keep each other building away, and it works great. So, myself and Sam were saying the other day, this is going to be a weak build, it's going to take us a bit of time, so uh, we'll see. And I haven't built a truck kit in about 15 years, I've only ever built one before, and the last one I hand painted with enamel. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, uh, but there's a lot of people showing interest, so I hope we get a lot of people taking part as well. So that runs from 1st of October all the way through to New Year, uh, 1st of January, uh, so if you want to take part, Keep an eye out on the Facebook page and the forum, and I'll post some more info. Well, probably, where are we now, the 21st? I'll probably get some info next week uh, about the build, just clarifying what's what and what have you. So looking forward to that. It's going to be good fun. Um, I've got a couple of reviews coming up. Uh, we've got some paint reviews and a kit review as well. Uh, hopefully the kit review will be done over the weekend, and the paint reviews I'll try and get done next week as well. Got a couple of interesting things to review. Um, I also got um, the two of six are completed that I started last time. Uh, the Tamiya uh, Bowsian Racing one, which turned out really well. So I've got some footage of that. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. And my latest build, which is what we're supposed to build last time, but silly Sam forgot to get the paint, is this. This is one of Domino's models. I believe they're actually Bell Kits, is what I'm hearing now. Uh, re release of Tamiya's iconic Ford RS Escort. Um, so I've already built the out-of-the-box scheme, I've built the Michelin Pilot one, and I'm going to build now, if you can see it, hopefully you can, that Brady version on the top. So it's a yellow version, I've got the paint that's up there, the decals, and the rims. The rims are, oh my god, let me think what they are. I think if I remember right, they're Oz rims, I forget now. Uh, and are the rims out the Repsol Escort, so if you're looking for the correct rims, uh, the Repsol Escort rims are the right ones. So started already that I got primed last night, and it's going to get base colour today. When we come back next week, that should be all finished and completed. But it's a good kit, it's an older kit, but it goes together well, and it's an iconic car. It really is absolutely superb. Um, and that's it, yeah, so um, Hangout's still busy as always. A bit quieter of a night, but they're busy through the day. Um, and live show's doing well. We'll be back tonight with the live show, half at UK, half at eight Europe. 1.30 Century US, come join us tonight, it's build night tonight, we missed the proper show last week, uh, I hurt my neck and shoulder, nothing major, but sitting here, if you watched last week's show, I can barely move my neck, I'm literally like this, um, on last week's bench update, and uh, it's still hurting now, but hey, um, so I didn't fancy sitting there for three hours, staring at a camera, so I made the choice to cancel the show, but we're back tonight with the build show, so come back, do a bit of building with us, and uh, have a bit of chat and discussion with us. And there we are. And always check out ISM Facebook page and forum and the umpretail.com site as well. 
Um, right, let's go on over. Let's have a look at the 206 and see how that looks. Okay, so this is Tammy's 124th Peugeot 206 WRC, the Bosian Racing Kit. Quite a hard kit to get. Uh, but certainly one of the rarer boxings of this kit. It was primed in UMP Gelb Yellow Primer, then base coated in decanted Tamiya TS49. Kit car crack decals were perfect, went down no bother at all. Clear coated in the Pro Range 2K Clear, and once cured for a couple of days, given a polish of some Novus Polish and a Tamiya wax. The wheels were primed in UMP White Primer. And painted in Tamiya TS26, uh, again decanted and sprayed. No clear coat on the wheels this time, I think they do look better for a bit more contrast. Uh, the interior is pretty much out of the box, bar the fabric belt you can see there. Um, bit of PE and the fabric ribbon. And the uh, PE mask for the front grille for the 206 logo as well. Uh, great little kit, highly recommend these kits. Uh, they go together no problem at all. So there we are, absolutely made up with that came out, uh, really I'm loving that Pro Range 2K, uh, it's doing a great job and it's cheap and so easy to get a hold of as well. Still got some of the Meeper left um, and it's good stuff, really is good stuff, it's just so hard to get, it makes it a bit of a nightmare and it's not cheap, it's three times the cost of the Pro Range. Um, and whilst it's still cheap in the long run, it's expensive compared to it. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up getting rid of some of the Meeper. Uh, so if anybody wants any 2K, give me a shout and I'll do you a good deal on a small quantity because uh, I'm probably not going to use it now. Just purely because of the cost of initially buying it. It's very good stuff, but like I say, I think it works out to £60. you got to buy it from three separate places. Bit of a pain. If anyone wants to try any 2K cheaply, give me a shout and I can sort you out. And there we are. So like I say, make sure you check out tonight's live show. Go check out the forum Facebook page, umpretail.com. My page, Paul, I assemble all my modelling work goes. The Hangout Modelling Group for all the off-air hangouts and the Live at the Bench page as well for the live show. All the links in the description down below. Uh, I'll be back on... I'm hoping maybe tomorrow with the kit review that's coming. Uh, I'm not 100% sure when it's going to arrive. Uh, we've got the bench... Not bench, sorry. We've got the next car build uh, techniques guide, part four. Uh, midday on Sunday. So I'll get the review up at some point then. Like I said, I've got some reviews due for next week as well. If you want to come join the off-air hangouts, come join the modelling hangout group. Or send me a PM and I'll direct you there. Come join us, just need a webcam and mic. Come and have a good laugh with us and uh, do some modeling, some other modelers. It's good fun and uh, yeah, we enjoy them and it's a good laugh as well. And there we are. So I'll be back next week. Um, hopefully, this escort done and then we'll crack on back with the Subaru and try and get us back to our turds if we can. And there we are. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Bye bye.